Oh, we just got a text that Adia is heading into recovery. So we have one that's pretty much recovered now, should be pick, being picked up right now. And then one that's going into recovery and is going to get her hour to recover before Lauren from Pretty Girl picks her up. So stay tuned. to Miami we have two clients today one is a Dr. Chang doll um, she is going for a skinny BBL look um, she said that she wants to look like a Barbie so skinny Barbie um, we have another client that's gonna be with Dr. William she's having tummy tuck lipo and a BBL I hate that procedure because it's really hard to get comfortable sometimes and it's hard to not compromise one procedure versus the other. Um, you know, with BBL, you can't sit for six weeks, and with tummy tuck, you can't lay completely flat. So basically, you have to stand. I'm just kidding. Don't stand. You either have to like sit on a BBL pillow, or you know, so you don't compromise the butt. Um, you can absolutely cannot lay down because if you do, then you risk tearing your incision from the tummy tuck. Um, so yeah, that's why I don't really like that procedure. It's a great procedure. I just, it's just a pain in the butt, literally. No pun intended. Um, but right now, I'm on my way to go pick up some uh, pick up drugs from our office. Then we're going to head over to each client to go set up so we can see what that's like. And when I say set up, I'm not talking about the bed. I'm talking about like our supplies, IV pole, if they bought an essential box, which both, both of these clients did. And we're going to set the essential box so it looks all pretty in the room when they arrive. Um, and then at 7.30, I'm actually going to be doing a console call. Um, I have a client that's looking to book within the next few days. Normally, our coordinator, Gabby, does the console calls. But um, since her surgery is coming up pretty soon and she's inquiring, there's no need to have her schedule. I'll be more than happy to talk to her. So you guys can hear what a free console is like. Um, but, yep, stay tuned. We're on our way to Miami. Every morning looks different for me. It just depends on what time my client's coming out of surgery. Ideally, I like to wake up, send a text to um, our clients in the morning, wishing them a safe and a, wishing them a safe surgery, um, sending them reminders on like letting us know when the surgeon comes to mark them up, um, and just staying in communication with them throughout the process. Because sometimes you guys are super nervous, which I would be too. Um, so just like texting in the morning to kind of like coach you through the whole process. Um, and then when I'm in route to your hotel or Airbnb, I'll call your family member to let them know that I'm on my way to drop off my supplies. Um, and then when I get a call that you're ready for surgery, I'll also keep the family member in the loop to let them know that, hey, your loved one is out of surgery and we'll go pick them up in an hour. Um, and sometimes I'm already with the family member, so I might actually be with them um, when I do get that call. Just kind of depends on how the day plays out. B12 on deck, immunity boost on deck. Let's go post up drip, let's go. Adia had, was scheduled for surgery at 6 a.m. Our second client was scheduled for 7 a.m., but it turns out that the second client started surgery way before, and she actually came out before. So normally when we do have two clients, we just set up for both, and whoever comes out first, um, we'll both go tackle that one and then split off after that. So right now, the second client, she is um, in recovery. We're gonna go set up our supplies. Um, once she's settled in, I would expect that Adia will be coming out not too long after. And then I'll leave and then go take care of Adia on my own. But usually we'll both tackle one person um, until the other one is out of surgery and so on and so forth. 
Um, so it's definitely a team effort. Um, on the booking side, a lot of you guys are always curious as to like, oh, what time do I choose for the surgery time? This is a prime example. The surgery time on the booking site does not mean, oh, I'm gonna service you at seven o'clock or I'm gonna service you at three o'clock. It's really just a placeholder because you never know what time your surgery is gonna be up until the day before surgery, which is at your pre-op appointment, and they never start on time anyways, or sometimes it starts early. So we just move according to how the day flows, which is why it's really important for you to let us know when your surgeon marks you up. That is the key indicator for us to start heading to Miami, for us to go set up everything. 